Hello you absolute legends, welcome back to the channel and oh my goodness uh, what have I done is the first reaction I've got uh, this afternoon um, this has just arrived, literally uh, just arrived off the back of a uh, truck uh, it's been delivered by a lovely chap from Coventry all the way from Birmingham and it's now found itself in the heartland of Lincolnshire by the coast uh, here it is then, it is a Proton, uh, it's the Aeroback version as you can see um, and this Proton has been uh, betrothed to me shall we say, or has entered my collection um, from a lovely lady uh, whose name is Nikki um, and uh, she contacted me uh, to say I've got this Proton, it was Dad's uh, and then it was mine and it's been sat on our driveway since 2018 not really doing anything it's not moved it needs some TLC um, I've found your details through the wonderful Steph my good friend Steph from iDriver Classic and if you haven't checked out her iDriver Classic videos yet uh, please do of the Proton um, and uh, it, it's found its way to my house so it's the 1.5 SE triple valve uh, the Aerobat version so not the saloon we've got the the sort of hatchback edition um, and it's safe to say that uh, she needs a little bit of TLC doesn't she um, and there's many uh, questions and concerns as to what we're going to end up doing uh, with this car um, and we'll discuss that in, in this video and um, so here it is then this video literally is looking at the car as it has arrived um, Nikki, I've only spoke to her on the phone I've not met her in real life um, is a genuinely lovely lady and uh, she really, really, really um, was emotionally attached to this little car. And, and some people don't get it when people are emotionally attached to cars. I do. I'm massively emotionally attached to, to, to cars, um, as, as you know. And, uh, you know, it's one of them things. You either love them or you hate them. Um, and I'm grateful to Nikki for uh, betrothing this lovely little proton to me then. Um, and she knows that it needs some work. So it, it, it might end up... That, uh, that this ends up getting broken for spare parts so other protons can live on. So the purpose of this video then is just to document the car, having a look at it inside and out, uh, seeing what we've got, um, and then we can discuss it and, and have a good chat. So we're gonna be doing this together because I haven't had a good look at this before um, I've done this video. Literally, the man who's delivered it has just left and I have uh, whipped my phone out and we'll do the video. So let's have a look then. Okay, so far so good. Uh, L39 Pedge. Doesn't look like the original number plate on the front. We are missing the Proton logo emblem on the front grille. And like anything, um, we've got algae spots, we've got dirt, we've got, uh, you know, just general grime. I'm not concerned about that. I really am not. Um, we've got the indicator lens I can see here is falling off. Uh, it needs rebonding. That's not a major issue. Uh, we've got the original made in Malaysia uh, Bosch headlight here, if we can see that. Made in Malaysia Bosch. Um, we have got some dirt and general grime on the bonnet. It will come off with a good old scrub. The bonnet, very straight and tidy. No major issues I can see on the bonnet. Um, apart from cat footprints. Uh, front bumper is okay. It's been knocked on this corner here. It's been touched up at some point in its life. Uh, this indicator lens looking good. This headlight looking good. Uh, okay, now we get into parts where I'm concerned, shall we say. So let's have a look at this wing. We've got some rust spotting here on this wing. Um, not a major issue. Looking good. Proton logo, an indicator looking good, uh, that trim looking good. Oh, oh dear. Uh, <laughs> this this is quite rusty. Uh, yeah, uh, big hole, uh, big hole, big prob. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's address that when we come to it. Uh, mud flap is good. Steel wheel is good. There's some gold or orange on there. Um, that might be copper slip. We've got the uh, Michelin tyre on there, which is... Uh, it is road... 
it's not road legal. Um, if it is, you wouldn't want to go far on that. It's nearly on the indicators. Uh, right, bottom of this door then looking good. This door looking quite nice, actually. Um, we've got the colour-coded handle, be it the SE model. We've got the colour-coded wing mirror as well. Rubber's looking good on these strips here. Uh, but, but, but that's failing there, which is what we're used to. This is all faded. The paint, which is what we're used to. This vehicle is secured by Metro Product Stop Lock. I can't see a stop lock in there, but anyway, we'll have a look at, at that in a moment. Um, what else are we looking at? This door looking good. This wheel arch uh, has been patched at some point in its life. Uh, Okay, let's do it then. Let's get down low, as DJ Casper would say, and have a look underneath. Okay, okay. Concerning parts here, we'll have a look at those when we get those doors open. That's okay. Uh, fuel filler cap is not a key, key release. It's a keyless release we've got here button in there to sort out we've got the se wheel trim here these are kept on with a locking wheel nut uh, i hope we've got the locking wheel nut tool uh, another mud flap proton mud flap excellent looking good uh, we've got the rear lights uh, this is fun i survived the scrappage scheme you certainly did, Little Proton, you certainly did. And you've got a lot to answer for, Scrappage Scheme. But let's not get political on the channel. Uh, rear window, looking good. I think I've got somebody who potentially needs one of these if we uh, do decide that the car is a little bit too worse for wear. We'll have a look in the boot in a moment. Badge is looking good. That's badges looking good, not badgers looking good. Uh, back bumper. Fine. Let's take a look at this exhaust. Let's have a look. Uh, could be worse. Relatively good under there. I don't think it's come from Moduron Lloyd Motors in Ab... I can't say it. Aberaeron. Volvo. Unusual to have the Volvo plates on there, but uh, hopefully there's some paperwork with the car, which will explain where it's come from. We've got, well I thought that was lack appeal, but I don't think it is. I don't know what that is. There's something going on here. Um, doesn't feel like lack appeal. No idea what that is. Have a look at that. Spoiler looking really nice actually. Uh, right, let's look at this side. So this side is significantly worse than the driver's side. Um, my focus keeps going, I'm not sure why. So we've got a trim door trim here that has taken a bit of a battering at some point in its life. Uh, that can't be repaired, that'll have to go. This wheel arch here is rusty. At the bottom here, again this wheel and tyre no good. Uh, this door peppered with dints, peppered with car park dings. Uh, looking at the bottom of the door, fine. So look at that sill. Yeah, okay, fine. Um, let's look at this while we're up here. What is this? Uh, okay. Not sure what's gone on here in its life. Clearly, there's some rust around the sunroof, and this is a Wabasto top slider to this sunroof notorious for leaking here um, we'll have a look at that in a minute because I am 98% certain the sunroof will leak uh, driver's door okay again front wing we've got uh, some damage I'm really not sure what's happening with my my focus today maybe it's a setting on the car on the uh, phone I don't know I'm missing that badge which is a shame. Uh, we've got the Tranquil Waterfall here, by the way. 
Uh, we've got this wheel trim, which is damaged. Um, we've got that mud flap, which is okay. <laughs> Again, another big hole in the uh, wing here. That's quite nasty. But not irreparable. It is just a hole. The rest of the wing is looking good. And front bumper there as well. Right, let's do it then. Let's have a look inside. Uh, we have got two keys with the car. Uh, what's this on here? Sentinel Card Services, Portsmouth. I'm guessing that's if somebody was to lose their keys, they can call that number. Uh, right, let's have a look then at the passenger's interior. Uh, so SE model then means that we get some special features, including passenger's side half carpeted uh, door cards and a door pocket. Yes, please. Electric windows. Brilliant. Um, this door card is actually in very good condition. They normally separate uh, along here, this plastic and this um, velour. Very good. Actually, inside the door shuts as well lovely condition someone's put copper slip i think on everything uh we've got this sill here and let's have a look at this sill then while we're down here mm. it's just surface rust i can't poke a hole in it it is solid <laughs> amazing how the wings have gone and uh, everything else is looking relatively okay. Uh, I've got the original Proton floor mat under here, I can see. Very exciting. It looks in good condition as well. We've got the Proton wheel trims. Let's take them out for a moment. That's not a Proton wheel trim. Ah, yes, it is the Proton floor mat. Uh, we've got some wheel braces. Is this the locking wheel nut tool? It blooming well is. That is what we needed to get them trims off. Excellent news. I'm glad we've got that. Uh, we've got some receipts and a jack and crowbar and all sorts of stuff i've got oily hands now from that let's put them back in there and one of my favorite parts about exploring these cars is looking at artifacts that are left in situ so let's have a look in the glove box what have we got uh we've got a little oh that's quite useful a little usb uh light plug-in light we've got uh, some proton parts what's this Proton parts, wheel trim lock. So another locking wheel nut tool. Uh, we've got a bulb, we've got a scraper. Uh, we've got some information there. There's a little card from the original owner, from the owner. And this we've got, which is good. The uh, original front grill uh, badge, which is nice. It's in good condition as well. These sometimes delaminate. Um, I'm not going to read the card from the owner on the video, that's personal. Uh, we've got some... Now are these the original? No, that's a flat one. Uh, what's this one? Uh, that looks more like it, an original bladed wiper blade, good. Uh, we've got a hole thing full of documents here proton documents service documents service manual owners manual and a Haynes uh, manual as well um, there's a few MOT certificates and the V5C for me some oh now look at this Lloyd Motors proton and Volvo Eberon Diffed so yes those, that must be the original back number plate then. Uh, never heard of that uh, that dealer, but I love, love, love this uh, tax disc holder. Fabulous. That's going straight in the collection. Uh, we've got some body repair work stuff here as well. We'll have a look at that in more detail when we get inside. Seat's looking good. Uh, interior then looking great. We've got the interior there we've got the clock here we've got the dash controls 
got the original stereo we've got ashtray looking good we've got the gear knob which is black as opposed to grey uh, we've got some bits and pieces here we've got the mirror control here because again SE we've got electric mirrors ashtray is looking good yep that's fine I don't want to break it but it's looking good let's look at the uh, look at the passenger side um, okay rear seats looking good they're this sort of I don't know if the video will pick it up they're like a mottled bluey grey um, I've not seen this uh, this style of seat before I've got a what's this aha it looks like a full set of proton floor mats uh, including the tunnel cover yes brilliant news nothing in this pocket this is concerning this uh, this seat trim is hanging off here um, we've got the knobs to pull the rear down so that's all nice and clean and actually interior it's very good it's very good the interior headlining is okay um, We've got the top slider two handle there. You can just see here uh, at the front, there's a piece of plastic hanging down. That is the trim for the headlining that goes onto the front. And they do fail uh, when wet. So the fact that that's hanging down tells me that it's been a bit wet. Right, here's a repair here. Uh, and we've got it just starting to go here. That sill's quite bad actually at the top there. Not sure what this is. What's this? Some sort of heel pad, maybe, that's been made. Um, I've never seen one of those before. Um, potentially bought, who knows. Uh, this headrest is on backwards for some reason. Uh, but it's again finished in that lovely velour and it feels so good it oh, I don't, I'm gonna be out here stroking this all afternoon it feels amazing um, door shuts looking good leave this door open a wee bit there's no battery on at the moment um, so I can't fire it up but looking ahead into the driver's cockpit this is a bit dirty and stained from the normal blue you'd expect that but it still feels so good this bolster's wearing a little bit they do they fail there uh, we've got the proton sticker here they always go missing dash dimmer and the clock 129.803 now this interior does not look like 120,000 miles of proton motoring um, someone has looked after this a lot and it has been very well looked after I can't believe just how good this interior feels it's not dirty as in with stuff on it um, and the even the steering wheel feels fantastic right we're looking the boot first uh, I, again, I have no idea what's in here. Uh, this garnish is looking good. Uh, I should have popped the boot, shouldn't I? Uh, we'll use the key. Oh, that click. I've not heard a click like that for years. Oh, that tailgate is heavy. Crikey. Okay, we've got something going on here. This uh, is missing all the clips. I'm guessing somebody has done some investigation work at some point in its life ah hello thank you very much um yeah proton mud flap i'm going to show you something because this is interesting oh, i find it interesting we have here a mitsubishi part number mb404126 that has been scratched out uh during the process that's because well it's a mitsubishi mud flap isn't it of course um and it's been modified to be proton not sure why we've got tape on here uh, but the fact that we've got the other rear mud flap is good in my opinion let's shut that that's not shutting we'll sort that out i'm probably gonna have to pull the catch uh, let's have a look under here boot carpet floor we've got the spare wheel uh, it's got the original tire on 
it's got the original factory tyre on here it's a Goodyear GT70 it will say made in Malaysia somewhere let's find it uh, no made in Great Britain uh, the early ones say made in Malaysia that's an original tyre that's not seen the road uh, awesome inside here it's not rusty at all which begs the question as to how it's got so rusty on them wheel arches um, we'll look under the bonnet and then we'll have a quick discussion and uh, we will end the video there uh, right let's open this bonnet just gonna put you down okay we're back again and we've got the bonnet open now uh, so under here original Malaysian radiator cap no battery which is why we can't fire it up but it does start um, it has been started it does fire up and it does move and run we've got the magma 12 valve here we've got quite a lot of oil seeping onto this here not really sure about that but we'll have a look at that, that this airbox uh, the surface is quite rusty but actually it's nice and tight um, it's quite good under here there's no major rust or rot or anything like that uh, it's very good what have we got then Normandy blue Hessen blue uh, we've also got all the proton details here and a timing belt replacement let's have a look at that uh, okay due for replacement in 2018 hmm. we've kind of passed that now so that's it then that's the car that's the proton um the owner is well aware or the previous owner i should say because it's mine now uh the previous owner is well aware that it needs some love we've got these holes in the wings and actually the rot in the wings and the little bit of surface rust on the sills at first glance seems to be the worst part about this car and the, the major issues with it um the initial plan was to to break it uh i'll be open and honest now i uh, was to use it for parts uh and nikki the previous owner knew that she knew that it was probably a bit too far gone to save um but looking at it now i'm looking at it in the flesh or the metal i don't know i honestly don't know what do you think uh, let me know in the comments uh, below what you think the overall fate of this proton should be um do we do we spend the money do we get it through an mot and patched up and welded and painted and back on the road or do we sacrifice it to uh to keep other protons uh, out there alive and well let me know um thanks ever so much for watching the video if you've liked it uh, please give me a thumbs up and uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel why is the main question uh, please give us a subscribe as well um and let me know what do you think uh, we should be be doing with it there'll be further update videos uh, between now and next few months um just talking about the car what we've done with it um but until then have a great day thanks for being with us uh, thanks for uh, watching the video and uh, take care.